Before we define what a mirage is and how a mirage is formed, let's recall the refraction of light. Now, when a ray of light enters a medium with a lower index of refraction from a medium with a higher index of refraction, that ray of light will refract or bend away from the normal line. So, let's see exactly what that means by looking at the following diagram. So, we have medium 1 with index of refraction N1 and medium 2 with index of refraction N2. Now, this this line is the boundary line and this is our normal line that is perpendicular with respect to the boundary line. Now when the single ray of light travels through medium 1 and into medium 2, that ray of light will bend or refract away from the normal line and that basically means the angle of incidence theta i will be smaller than the angle of refraction theta r and this concept is known as the refraction or bending of light. Now recall that the speed of light within medium 2 will be higher than the speed of light within medium 1 because the index of refraction is lower in medium 2 than in medium 1. So, a mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs because of the bending or refracting of light. Now, mirages are readily visible on a highway on a very hot day. So let's suppose we're dealing with a very hot day and on a very hot day the road of the highway essentially absorbs a lot of the radiation that comes from the sun and that basically means the temperature of the road on the highway increases. Now this increase in temperature of the road will be basically increase the temperature of the air that is found right above the road and that basically warms the air right above. Now, since warm air is less dense than cool air, warm air has a lower index of refraction and this means light will travel faster in warm air than in cool air. So basically, if we examine the following diagram, this is the road and the air found right above the road is warmer than the air found, let's say, in this region. So let's see exactly what a mirage is and how a mirage is formed. So let's suppose we have a stationary car standing on one side of the road and we have a stationary perso person that is the observer. So this is the road. Let's suppose we have a single ray of light that bounces off a section of that car and essentially travels in the following direction in Initially. Now, as it travels closer to the road, it enters warmer air. And so, because warmer air has a lower index of refraction, the ray of light will travel faster. And that means the bending or refracting of light will take place. And so, as it continues to travel, it essentially bends and it follows the following parabolic or circular pathway. Eventually, it will hit the eyes of the person. Now when the person sees that ray of light, that person perceives that ray as if it has traveled a straight pathway as shown by the following dashed region. So now it forms the following image which is known as our mirage. So the person sees the following image as if it was the, the actual object and this is known as the mirage. So the mirage is formed as a result of the refraction of light. Now if the person comes closer to the car, this mirage will eventually disappear and the person will see the car because the light doesn't actually bend enough.
So, once again, as light ray bounces off the car, it moves and bends as it travels via air with different indices of refraction. So, since air closest to the ground is warmest, it has the lower index of refraction and light travels faster in that particular region. When the ray of light makes it to the person's eyes, the person perceives the ray as if it has traveled a straight pathway and this forms the following image that is known as the mirage.